Were your expectations met for this event? Uh, no, not met. They were surpassed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I was yeah, like. They were surpassed. First uh -huh. of all, the host. And guess who the host was? Guess who the host? Miss Rudy is filming me. Miss Rudy is filming me. Let me do my dance. Let me do my dance. Welcome to the channel guys. I'm out here eating fufu. Uh, I noticed you guys loved my, my mukbang video from the other day. So I decided to bring you another classic Ghanaian dish right here. Um, this food right here is fufu. It's popular among the Akans but every Ghanaian eats it. So um, I have a combination here with um, a bit of palm nut soup and just a little bit of light soup um, and then some kontomri that's the greens right so you are seeing right here what I have here I love goat meat a lot and I have some fish also here and some okra on the side mmm guys make we chop I'm going to be devouring this while we talk about I think today I'm going to talk about Ghanaian dishes in general suggest what foods you would like me to showcase to you guys and I'm here at one of my favorite joints now in Ghana there are several places you can eat awesome restaurants you can pay big bucks for or you go to the home styled ones where it feels more like you are home um, and the food is usually the great taste you would get when you cook at home other than the big restaurants trying to serve the masses um, a place like this brings you closer to your home. It's a home cooked meal. It's a good feel for your food. Mm. So Charlie, I mean, you know, we date up, we eating. Um, let me know your favorite food. I don't really have a favorite food like that. So that's fufu right here. That's how it's done. Um, this joint right here is located somewhere in Labadi. Um, and the chief chef here is called Mr. Opong. Mm. Charlie, it never gets old. Good taste every time. Same taste. It never changes. And so anytime you want to eat, find a good joint like this and delve into some Ghanaian dishes. Let me know what your favorite Ghanaian food is, what you like eating the most. Mm. So, a few days ago, I had the opportunity to host Wodomaya's Meet and Create. The whole thing was engineered in a space of two, um, two days or less, like 48 hours, less than 48 hours, right? And um, I emceed it. I was told on the very day, uh, a few hours to the event, that I will be the MC for the Day. Now, I know a lot of expectations were that well, that Maya was hosting it, so he should be the one doing the MC and work at the same time. But like I said, this whole thing was planned in just like two days. And so, mm, you should understand. All in all, the event was supposed to bring about three different pillars, right? So, uh, introducing content creators to each other to foster some sort of networking and relationship going forward for collaborations and all that. And also so that um, you can uh, learn from the experiences of Wodemaya himself, Vanessa Kenby, and also Kojo Sheldon, and as well as other content creators who came. So I personally spoke with some people on one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, it was a good experience overall. It was my first time emceeing a show, and um, it was quite overwhelming, but I think we all tried in our possible ways. Um, 
audience were great and um as you know it's always going to be a wonderful thing so as the mc of the event what i did was after the show i spoke with most of the top youtubers and asked them about their um, expectations and as to whether the expectations were met so the next videos you're about to see will be the expectations from these other guys while you watch me eat it will be playing on the side of the video and they'll be telling you their expectations charlie join me make we eat So, <clears throat> I'm sure you would also like to know how much this whole food cost. Uh, we got ourselves two. This black pot you see right here, it's called the Ethin Ware. Um, and in local parlance, we call it Asanka. I'm currently in the Ga community and they call it Ka. Um, that is what we typically eat fufu in. And um, it's made of red clay. And uh, I think they mix it with some other stuff. I will take you to where they make these things also. It's somewhere along the roots of, um, I think, Akuse, this Afienya side in Ghana as well. So, right now, um, the cost is me for this very one, I don't know. Mr. Opong, you have to make it in the No, no. 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 No, so that is it for this one is 26 cities i will do the dollar conversions for you guys also i brought you also see what is here mm. um but you can see the fufu big old, but you they watch me i'll go chop all right now so let's continue with um the expectations from the other youtubers So 
one thing each you both taking away from this event? I'll take, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'll take it that I need to be consistent. Honestly, I'm sorry, guys. We're, we're going to get better. But honestly, consistency is everything. And that is the biggest thing.
I was personally busy. I had a very busy day, but I still had to make the, make it here. And when I go here, seeing people in here makes me feel like this is a movement and it's here to stay. Okay, and so what's that one thing you're taking away from this event? We are one. Thank you. So, <clears throat> sorry if I haven't invited you guys, but Charlie, that's food, man. You have food, you know, get a friend. Um, this is Ray right here. He was the videographer on the night uh, of the whole event. I'm sure some of you might have seen him. Uh, I don't know what your expectations were. Were they met? Let me know in the comment section below. I met some great people, met some great subscribers, as well as um, some other content creators. And we'll be coming up to some collaborations very soon for you guys. It was awesome. Mm. I'm personally grateful for Niyemo uh, linking me up and giving me that opportunity to introduce myself to a great community of content creators. Ni, I should have invited you to join this for but you know, we move. Mm. It's a movement. It's a movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the food be dope. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm, I wish you were good chop some back. Mm. Thank you. So that's it. I'll try to finish this food right now. Uh, I showcased some of the ingredients that I used to prepare this very food I'm eating right now. So uh, the main content itself is fufu, which is a mixture of uh, cooked plantains and cassava in very um, good proportions, right? It is first cooked and then it is pounded together. And um, that's how you get this, this is fufu. Now, in different parts of Africa, we have different versions of fufu. Our fufu, we pound it, we cook the cassava first and the plantains, and then we pound it together. In other parts, they do fermentation and they wait for some days and all that kind of stuff. The Ghanaian way is to pound. And then you make your soup. I'm eating with um, palm nut soup, which is from the palm tree. I will show you a picture of the palm tree also now. And I have some goat meat and fish, right? Um, I'm enjoying it. So that'll be all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me the next food you would want, want me to showcase you from Ghana and from which part. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Watch me as I finish my food. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And also, I'll leave, I'll leave the number to uh, Mr. Pons place here where I'm eating. Anytime you, you find yourself in Labadi, Try to come here and check the food out. It's a great corner to eat some great authentic Ghanaian food. Mr. Opon, um, you go feed tell my people something. So this is Mr. Opon <laughs> right here. Um, a former butcher. I've been eating here for about four years now or more. Uh, he's a dope guy. I love his food. And um, Charlie, Thank you for hooking us up again. In the talks, you know they understand English, but it'd be, it be just it be just normal formality. <laughs> Mr. Bong, yeah. um, I want you to put your number out there, mm -hmm. so my subscribers who are watching right now can also come here and enjoy your meal, because okay. I love your cooking. Thank you. Yeah, man. So put out your number for them to know. Zero two four four. In the microphone. Zero two four four. Yeah. Two three. Two three five two. Zero two four four two three two three five two. Yeah? Zero two four four two three two three five two. Mr. Upon. Upon. See, see, he's brothelizing it now. He said upon. <laughs> upon. Yeah man. Mm. <laughs> so Charlie, that's it right here. Thank you guys for watching once again. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.